Hello again. So in the last video, we did this planet Earth coming back from like two videos back. And we kind of get this kind of look with Earth having its atmosphere and the stars twinkling in the sky or the space or whatever. And now we're going to add some lines. So let me kind of show you what the lines look like having done this before. Uh, it's going to look kind of like this. This is the previous one we did before. Uh, but I just want to show you how to get those lines in and kind of get that done so let's get on with it earth number two so here's how we create these lines here's how we create these lines uh, hmm. first of all we're gonna need a shape layer that's very simple just go uh, right click new shape layer and what we're going to be using this time we're going to be using the pen tool yes everybody's favorite tool the pen tool now what i want to do is see exactly where earth is going to be and where it's going to pop out from so i can kind of create something that looks like it's you know flowing into that beginning area uh so i'm going to choose this here and just click a line and draw something here the issue with this though is that I don't want to have a fill. I actually would prefer, I don't want to have a fill, I just want to have a stroke. Not that kind of stroke guys, sorry. Alright, so besides that stroke, in this we can't change the way our stroke appears. But inside this here, right inside this here, we can look at the contents and see shape and see stroke. And stroke actually has quite a bit of things such as width. And one of the more important ones, the butt cap. You want to be round. Now, you can actually add to your um, stroke or add to the contents of this. We want to add something called a trim paths, which allows us to trim the path of our shapes. So if you look at the start, you can actually trim it down. Or the end, we can trim it down. So what we want to do is, at the beginning, the very beginning, we're going to have the end path come up back to zero. And we're going to start animating that from zero to about a hmm, little less than two seconds. And the end is going to be like that. Now we also want the beginning, a little after that starts, <clears throat> perhaps to start here. And end somewhere a little bit off. Right? So we have something kind of like this. Whoops. Kind of like this. Right? But we do want it to smooth out. So F9 again. Never forget that. F9. And we can always pull these two together out. Like bam. And that's one of them. Now what if you wanted to, I don't know, add more paths? You could probably, inside here, just decide you're going to draw a couple more paths like so. Right, and do something like this. The thing about it is that when you're inside this shape, it oh, never mind. <laughs> when you're inside this shape, so we have this shape here, shape two, and let's say you know your shape two has a path one, and you kind of don't want to be doing this over again, just drag that path into here and both of them will have the same thing but the thing is based on how I created my path there's actual direction for it to go so chances are I should probably start it off with one side going here one side coming here so I'll do it again inside the same path here we're going to use a pen tool we're going to add Oh, this way this time. Beginning of the path, end of the path. Right? Like I said before, if you just want to change a few things. Right? So instead of that, we want it to just have the same path. And just throw that inside this shape. Probably even delete this content here, this, this shape too. Because we don't really need it. And then we have shape one doing this, 
right? So you have something like that. If you want to just work with dual stuff, you can always change the path of your um, shape like doing that. And what we're going to do is also, I'm going to add a couple more things. I'm going to create a new path again. Uh, so make sure that no layers are selected. I'm just going to create a very small path. Something a little bit here to here. Right? And <clears throat> this is what I'll be doing. Same path options. I'm going to add that trim path again. And we can do the same thing. We're going to have our start and our end. So it might start off here and in the middle. We're going to start at zero, end before that. And also the same for our start and end. This one's going to be at. Uh, zero and then this one's going to be at 100 so you have a short path here that you know is a little bit of things like that just to kind of get that nice vibe look thing maybe you might have another couple things you might want to throw in there maybe this should be something else if you feel like um playing around with it a bit you can actually add different things such as um wiggle paths, right? So if you want that really wiggly look, right? Let me just find that uh, wiggle path option there. So you can see that it wiggles the path a bit. You can always change the size of the wiggle, right? And it look more crazy and drawn. And it squashes up the things and you have the details and all these different things. So it really depends on what you want to do. Right, wiggles per second, how much wiggles you want to wiggle. Right, so if you want a crazier look, you can do that. Right, so there's that. So I'm going to take off this wiggle path because I don't really want it. But I'm going to put in a couple more um, paths. Right, so I have my path one here. I want another one. Gonna move you next. Let's add another path here of a different timing, of course. And just do uh, this. All right, so this last one, we're going to add the very same trim paths. And maybe the path this time, I have to just make sure that the path actually has round um, strokes, round butt caps. Right, and you might want to change the size of your stroke width. Just have some, you know, differences. No. Let's get on with the show. For the trim parts, we're going to start off, you know, everybody's doing this thing, that thing, this part, and then we're going to have this one coming afterwards. Um, so it says start, zero. End is going to be zero. I'm going to set end there and do that. And carry this up. Do the same thing for this. Start is going to be there. And the end is going to be here. And hit that and press F9. Now, because I want a little bit of variety in terms of colors, what I can do is play also with the blending mode for even this. So that looks decent. Don't that look decent? Yeah, it looks decent. Moving on. All right, so layer four, I can change the blending mode. So if you don't want to use, for example, this same white you can always change the blending mode so it kind of overlays the layer itself so it looks more like this you know it has the different colors and does the thing right same thing with the rest of the layers you don't have to just stick with one color perhaps for this one we want the uh, fill color to be uh, probably like an orange 
just to give it some variety. You know, those commercials you see on TV, oh, welcome to Flow or Digital or whatever. They use simple little techniques like this. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create something like a planet Earth. Now, you can always add music to it. And for every single um, element that pops up, you can always have a song just to keep things more interesting. But this is essentially how you create a composition like this one. And what we can do at the last part now is just probably have it fade out. You know, it's a 10 second clip. Let's add one more thing. Right click and choose new solid. I'm going to choose a black one. And press OK. Now, the solid is going to take up the entire length of the composition. We just want it to be here. So we're going to go, what do we need to play with? We have opacity, shortcut is T. I'm going to start off at 0% opacity. Turn on a stopwatch and go over to, it's going to transition over ten, 2 seconds. And I do that. And I'll just throw in a song. You'll probably find a song that I have on the machine. Uh, I usually recommend using uh, Incompetech. Or you could... Um, Add something else. Uh, we have Rosemary. We have um, royalty free music. Kevin MacLeod. Uh, relaxed, maybe. Immersed. And that's me importing audio. You just throw it in there like so. And just throw that audio in and. Let's see what happens afterwards. 10 seconds into it. Voila. That was what up. You know. Cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this three-part series of creating that composition. Any questions, just shoot me a comment in the link. Or link me in the comments. Whichever one. Bye-bye.